What's up guys? This is the Rothman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to pick off where we left off, uh, we have been fighting an absolute buckload of battles inside the in the Balkans region and we are pushing <laughs> too much to do, we are conducting quite a devastating offensive on Ottoman holdings in the Balkans. So this is the first of three battles I'd, I'd like to try and get knocked out in this episode. Uh, chief, firstly, this battle here to try and push the Ottomans the other side of this river. Then we have a battle in Trinidad and Tobago, and we also have one in Gibraltar. So let's crack on. I would like to try and get um, all of those battles done in this episode to make some good progress. Because that would be... The pirates knocked out in the Americas, and then we can start the ball rolling on some of the Mughal territories, such as probably Brazil, not, yeah, Brazil, as a priority, due to their economic value. Okay, so let's put... I quite like this hilltop position, so I might have... Put a bunch of regular infantry, we'll put my, well, the, but the core of my infantry, plus a lot of my elite infantry, to push through the centre. Three companies to push over, three battalions to push over the hill to capture the high ground. And then my howitzers just hunker down behind the lines firing quick climb at whomever takes their fancy. And let's uh, let's advance. That's my intention. As my artillery opens up on their on their artillery, the irony is round shot would have done a lot more uh, damage than quick climb. Let's just pick a few new targets. Ultimately, we're pushing. We're going to be pushing into their territory. So I don't, I don't have any doubts that, uh, well, we've got time. We've got time to let our artillery do some good work. Especially if they all focus, if they all uh, concentrate their forces together like that. If my gunners can reload. My sheep are zooks. Any horsemen. They do have some cavalry wandering about, but it's it's pretty light cavalry, so I'm not overly worried. Bosnian Panducks. Oh yeah, they've got a few units of these. They look pretty neat, isn't a regular unit. Quick climb inbound. Oh my. Yes, you should waver. That would be devastating. Okay. Let's push in hard on this flank because they don't have the cavalry to support. They're pushing their cavalry up, these horsemen up, so I might just keep the centre of my line where it is to provide fire. Let's make sure we get a unit of a unit of howitzers dropping quick line. Let's bring our cavalry f closer in. The priority here is that these irregulars are now within musket fire or musket range. That's a. Oh, that's one of theirs. <laughs> our, 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 artillery, our infantry are within range as our guns engage. So we've got to, we're going to drop some more. Shots onto them. Good. Let's just push my well, this infantry to the top of this position. You guys push up. Keep pushing my cavalry around, ready to try and exploit opportunities on the flank. Problem is, they are bunching their forces together quite significantly. Which is great for my artillery, not so good for my cavalry. 
try and exploit opportunities. Let's pick some new targets. The Janistries are a bit of a risky target because they are going to specifically try and close distance. Come on, Deli Horseman, you gonna try anything? I hear a cavalry charge. Mamelukes have hunkered down, so they're going to get some musket fire from quite a lot of units, actually. Yeah. Charge my cavalry and some infantry to knock out the Delhi horsemen. You guys drop into square just in case they try anything. You guys can fire into the flank of the Janissaries, that's pretty good. The Panduks towards the rear are quite a good target. You guys get out of square and run over to here to fire along the line into these Mamelukes. These men push up. These men push up. Keep targeting units in the centre. You may as well hit the Seminis. Deadly Horsemen have been routed. The Line Infantry take up their position once again in the battle line. Okay, they're going to start breaking soon, so let's get my general around here pretty quick switch all my artillery to round shot focus fire their artillery let's get this flank to move up it is a bit dangerous doing this when you're trying to uh, chase down units with cavalry because it's, it's kind of a recipe for lots of friendly fire Well, you're going to have firewall off for now. Let's bring my cavalry, this cavalry, back into the fold to target some better units. So rather than chasing down Semini, you can actually chase down the Janissary unit. Their gunners are... They're done for. There you are engaging Bashibazooks, you're engaging Janissaries. My general is getting into position, so you can start to chase down Panduks. Okay, some of my gunners are dropping. Okay, no. I thought... Okay. Damn right, we're going to continue. So the gunners should get mowed down. Although, to be honest, wherever they're routing. That's the thing to keep an eye on. I can't see the gun teams routing on the field. Those are Delhi horsemen. Well, enough, I don't get the gunners, I don't get the gunners. At the end of the day, nope. You're after... Janissaries, you're going after the Bashi Bazooks. My general here is after this unit of Panduks. There we go. Try to chase down that unit of Muslim. You guys are after that Janissary. That lone man running up the hill. Chase down the Muslim. Try to chase down the Irregulars, if they if you can get them. Because these are Muslim and Panduks. Panduks would be, might be good to kill, but at least we'll, we can definitely kill the Irregulars. Let's go help my general out. Is 
General. Four, two, one, done. I don't know where, so we're not trying to chase down that gun team. There'll be a guy on foot somewhere. No, oh, he's routed anyway. Still, that was quite a good win, and it pushed, hopefully, it will push them back up to Hungary, actually. So you guys replenish and then stay here to watch out for them. To be honest, you might even auto-resolve against them. Then this, then this army can push up and hit Hungary. But that's not our focus. Let's take a Nijo Fierro. And let's go and attack the garrison of Gibraltar. Because they do have an army coming in in reinforcements. So it is, it's in our interest to take them out. And then potentially two of these armies, or to be honest, maybe all three of them, may land against... May land in Cairo. Or maybe Cairo, hit Cairo and Jerusalem at once, potentially. But firstly, we do need to knock out some of these guys. So let's go take out the garrison of Gibraltar. And then, probably in the next episode, uh, we can deal with the uh, the full stack army waiting for us. Yeah, I do like the idea of just knocking out these because these are battles I know I've got to do. They're all set up. Ooh, not so great for my field artillery. Over here is probably where the best place for you to go. Howitzers, stay back and drop quicklime. Because we've not got this great ground for field artillery, we are going to want to push. The pikes can go through the town. The bulk of my cavalry be on the left. All of it, I should say. Perfect. It's almost as if that's what I planned. Our gunners might actually find a good spot up here. As they quick line the heck out of those chaps. Garrison Islamic Swordsman. This is good reason to keep our pikes on the flank in the city. We do have some enemy cavalry and I might even trot one of my heavies over onto my right flank. Obviously my 12 pounders focus on the Nizam infantry because once that breaks then the core of the army is broken. So the mounted infantry will, will get chewed up by my pikes quite succinctly. Just, just run my infantry because it looks like there might be some bashies looking to get up to, tr up to no good. Push my cavalry on their left flank. They haven't really got excellent targets, chiefly because they've got that unit of camels back there, so that might be a good target for my artillery to focus fire on. As our quick line goes in to hit their infantry formations. <laughs> the Felaina ready. They're charging my cavalry. So it's just set them, break them into a run. So this is, yeah, you need to break the core of their their army, and that is their Nizam infantry, and they do look excellent. Bring up my pikes. Okay, I may send my cavalry to go target their mountain Nizam. Are you are Swiss guards, so you're pretty good. Trying to intercept us with their own 
with their Mamelukes. So let's get our cavalry to ban. Looks like they might try and actually fix us with cavalry. Ooh, is that going to be a... Okay, danger close, quick climb attacks. Let's definitely retarget you guys. Cairo Janissaries, that's a pretty nice mix. Atlantic Swordsman against my Garrison Militia. It's fine. I can take being weaker on one flank in order to win the other. So my pikemen aren't doing so well against the Bashi Bazooks. But my heavy cavalry will take out their Nizam. To be honest. Ah, they did catch our cavalry. Let's get you back to back out this way, maybe. Okay, let's push these guys out onto that flank. Where's my regiment of force? Good. Keep on running. There we go, my pikemen are starting to win. Swiss guards are holding out against the swordsmen, but that's all I really wanted them to do. The main goal was to... was to hold them on. In case the new guys fall back, if you can in time, I doubt you can, because I want to try and get more firepower to bear. Okay, hit the Mamelukes, if the Janissaries have left us alone, it's pretty good. Heavy cavalry that came back hit the camels, because you're already dead anyway. The Bashis have broken. My pikemen are going to go into the mercenaries. Let's get our cavalry around. So I'd like to charge the cavalry into the back of these Islamic swordsmen, if possible. Some of my line infantry got caught by the Bashis and the Fellaheen. Charge them in to meet them. Let's protect our comrades. You guys drop into square because you might be about to get charged. Let's keep our cavalry firing. It's a general unit. Let's run you over here. Okay, set my heavy cavalry to engage that unit of Nizam. Join them with my pikes, the Swiss guards, whatever's left of you. Set up to begin engaging. The infantry as normal. If they're going to let me um, charge some cavalry into the back of these chaps, because they are winning against my infantry. Let's push you guys up. My pikes are probably going to win against the garrison swordsmen. Heavy cavalry are doing a good job against the Nizam. Artillery firing against the camel gunners. Our cavalry managed to break. You engage the Janitor Musketeers. We're being charged on this flank. So you guys belatedly drop into squares. You are fighting against two light infantry units though, so I do like your odds.
you guys form a new line. There we go. Push these pikes up to go fight the camel mercenaries. To be honest, even if they do push our guys back, which looks like they likely will, uh, they've done it at a great cost to their own men. drop into square so my pikemen should have a good time against these camel mercenaries looks like they're having a very good time yeah and surprisingly that mass charge did end up winning so now the bet is Bring in some of the reinforcements. Don't really want to use the reinforcements, but I'm going to bring them in. Okay, blast this Felaine unit with canister shot. Howitzers all switch to round shot and all engage that janissary unit. Let's get my general to charge. Feline unit, you guys switch to round shot and engage. Eh, Mamelukes. Charge the heavy cavalry in to smash into this Bashi Bazook unit. This combat's still going on. Get all my artillery to engage this camel mercenary unit towards the rear. Yeah, the Bashi Bazooks were always. They were always going to go under eventually. Swiss Pikes charged the camel gunners. The Nizam have been routed. Heavy cavalry smash into the rear of this light infantry, or light cavalry unit. My marines would probably have seen them off eventually. Oh, lots of bad fire in there. Although I think that is it. That is the enemy pushed off of the map. Oh no, they got some... Obviously, they've got a garrison as ours unit. So just run my heavy cavalry over to come and take him out. And I'm probably going to speed up time. Um, there we go. Ooh, that's a bloodier battle than, uh, than I would have liked, that's for sure. But I'll still take it. Yeah, it was 2,000 men. It's a big old chunk of change. And then the irony is we're probably going to have to do this. Immediately give it up. To draw these guys west and hopefully, well, buy some wiggle room. Okay, so let's try and let's merge the marines. Let's merge some of this infantry... Just try and make a two infantry gap to get these light infantry guards involved. Good stuff. You need a lot of replenishment. They're down here in Trinidad. It's just the pirates. They won't surrender, I imagine. No. <laughs> Let's go and destroy the last pirate army. And that does mean that we will start after producing more uh, naval fighting units in the Caribbean um, because we can no longer rely on the pirates to do the itty bitty uh, interdiction work that they mostly do you know raiding the ports and so on
And I mean, I think this is just going to be a good old slaughter. Well, I might put more infantry in the centre because you've got lots of trees in the middle of the the battlefield. And you guys. The limber. Good. And then we've got a good selection of pretty uh, elite troops just to guard the flanks. And this is going to be a bit of a slaughter because it will be um, just a bunch of light infantry running into the muzzles of our guns and getting repulsed. And they will likely route, come back, route, come back, route, come back. That's usually what happens. They break so quickly, you don't kill enough of them to make it permanent. Good stuff. Oh god, a howitzer. A quick line firing how it says who's in, who are you in range of oh the tenth light foot aha they have mortars should really have looked into that just assumed uh, generic pirate mob it's fine going to be the, the same net result. Cavalry. Let's run the cavalry. I'll try and interdict some of these buccaneers, although we have managed to make one of the garrison mortars start to waver. Tenth light foot are going to hit our lines. To be honest, you guys are not going to get there in time. So just set up, run my cavalry into the gap, and allow fire by rank to do their glorious work. Oh, that was lucky. Right, there we go. Like they've, there's already lots of routing over here, or wavering, and nothing's actually happened. The tenth will probably break fairly quickly. So I want to get the cavalry... Yeah, like, there we go. They've, they've wavered, so now my infantry can go up to their normal position on the line where I'd want them to be. Hit the tenth. And let's push my infantry in on the assumption that the tenth will be broken and pushed back and getting annihilated by uh, cavalry. You guys might halt fire. Let's see if my cavalry can do the good work. Well, they really, I want to. I want to Pick different targets. Although we're going to lose some. Okay, good. So technically, that's that entire wing broken. And the key will be now bouncing around from unit to unit with my cavalry, shattering them as they go. Not looking to kill, but looking to shatter. Just run you guys straight up on the flank like that. Those two units can adequately cover there. The trouble is though, they are routing every, every possible direction. So it's difficult to spot. What, uh... 
it's difficult to try and pick the best directions for your cavalry to go. Like you guys continue to kill them. Now they're shattered, good stuff. So the reason why those ones particularly wanted to kill is because they were going to go behind our lines. And I really could not be bothered with the mess. It may mean that occasionally our cavalry gets bogged down doing things you wouldn't like it to really do. Eh, to be honest, just charge it. If they even you even they even get that far. Yeah. They just collapse. Collapse in on themselves. So where is the unit that's come back? There it is. The unit of the 4th Light Foot. There we go. And they shattered when we attacked them with cavalry. And there goes... The enemy. Yeah, let's just, <laughs> let's just end that battle there because there's no point chasing them down. Well, there is a point. You can get more experience, but I'm not overly worried about experience in this from this brigade. Let's send that fifth rate just to have a look and, to be honest, just sit in here. Because if I sit in here, they'll never actually get us out. Okay, you guys, replenish whatever you can. Technically, well, I can't even repair that. But yeah, the next target, the best target to go for are these two territories down here because they are very very wealthy while we maybe build up another force um, in Cuba to land on the mainland United States that might be a good idea can you you can't get to Hungary okay if you auto resolve against Mr. Siri push them back so then Mr. Choricelli can sit here. To be honest, you can actually keep walking if they intercept you. That'll be fine. You're probably going to go east to try and face off against those fellows. You can't go anywhere, and I feel bad for you, because you're probably going to get smashed into by a lot of troops. Uh, but I'm not going to end the, end the part here. I'm going to hit the end turn button and see what happens. Mm. There you go, some reinforcements. Mm. It would be tempting to land in Ankara itself, but we know they've got a large amount of troops so I think maybe weakening them by attacking their southern territories would be a good idea but that does rely on us um, actually well that does rely on us f finishing off this this army there that's raiding around oh man that's a lot of troops oh that's a lot of troops you guys are gonna hold on for your lives because that is a big Russian defensive battle uh, I don't, I don't, I don't anticipate a win here, um, but it buys us time. It buys us time. Um, but looking at that timer, I believe it's the time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the first battle, I think, against the Russian army. Cheers, everyone.